Well, thousands from across the state are expected to fly to Maui to participate in a unity walk and gathering this weekend. It's all an effort to heal, but as our Chelsea Davis reports, some Lahaina leaders are choosing not to be a part of it. The Lele Aloha Ho'ulu Lahaina Unity Gathering is this Saturday. Organizers say it's an opportunity for the entire state of Hawaii to come together to stand with Lahaina. Preparations are underway for a giant gathering on Maui this weekend. Tents are going up at Launio Poco Beach Park, while hundreds of Hawaiian flags are going up in the mountains above Lahaina, rising high above the devastation. When I never saw somebody days after the fire, months after the fire, and then all of a sudden seeing them was such a relief that, oh, you're alive. And so for me, I saw purpose behind doing this. It's been almost six months since a firestorm leveled the beloved town of Lahaina and killed at least 100 people. Thousands are still without long-term housing. Respected Maui leader Archie Kalepa says the unity walk and gathering is necessary for healing. It begins at the Lahaina bypass below Lahaina Luna Road at 7.45 a.m. From there, participants will walk along the bypass down Hokiokio Place, continue down Honopi'ilani Highway to Launiopoko Beach Park, Park for a ho'olaulea. Voyaging canoes from around the state, like the hokulea, will also be there. When they come, bring your conch shell, bring your poo. I can only imagine what it would be like to have 5,000 conch shells blowing at once because this is a calling. But the movement is getting pushed back by other Lahaina community leaders. Community group Lahaina Strong, who led the Onipa'a Peace March in Honolulu on Wednesday and organized a march of their own in Ka'anapali last month, is choosing not to participate because Governor Josh Green was invited. The gesture alone of inviting somebody and in us blindly marching beside him, for us, or for myself at least, it feels like we are condoning the actions that he has placed upon our people recently. Lahaina Strong leaders say government officials aren't doing enough to secure long-term housing for fire survivors. It's purely to bring community together. It is not something that is government-led. Kalapa hopes his unity gathering will do just that, unify, not divide. For more details about the gathering, go to hawaiinewsnow.com. Reporting in West Maui, Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.